Oh, I feel wonderful today. For years, uh, Kathleen Anakin didn't feel so wonderful. At the age of 26, she thought her breasts were too small. And like many other women, she decided to do something about it. It would be nice if Mother Nature didn't give it to you. You could buy it. You know, it sounded like a great idea. But that great idea turned into a battle that would change her life. They were way too large. They were, they were ridiculously large. I woke up with larger implants, and that is when I got the migration of one of the implants into my armpit. And the doctor refused to examine me. And now, five operations later, Anakin and millions of women like her have hope. Within three weeks, a $4.75 billion settlement may be reached with manufacturers, physicians, and health care providers. We have a set sum of money that women will be able to rely on. The other thing is, many, many women have run out of their insurance. They have no insurance, and so they need some immediate relief, and this will do it. So who qualifies for a share in all this money? Well, it's really quite simple. Any woman, anywhere, with a breast implant. But what makes this settlement truly unique is that if a woman collects, say, a year from now and then gets sick down the road, she can go back to the settlement fund. And that's not all. This groundbreaking settlement offers even more. Women who may have unfortunately gotten an implant through no fault of their own from a company that is now bankrupt will get the same compensation as a woman who got an implant from a successful company. And as for Anakin, she started an organization for women with problems like she had, who think they have nowhere to turn. Dilva Henry, Channel 9 News.